The other day I was going through some old folders and found this screenshot and was suddenly hit with long forgotten memories. You see, when I was around 12, I was the biggest RPG horror fanatic. I'd scour through Tumblr to try people's demos out, but Gorge was different. What made me gravitate towards a game that hadn't even released a demo? Wow! The main character looked exactly like my best friend at the time. Like, it was kinda scary. And the sidekick looked a lot like me, and their dynamic seemed so very similar to ours. So, with all those memories being brought to the surface, I was ready to download the game and cry my eyes out for years long gone. Okay, I guess it kinda went on a different direction then, and... No, no, sorry. Definitely not the game I'm looking for. Let's see... Gorge RPG Maker game... Here it is! Hi, I'm Liv and today I'm gonna talk about Gorge, a failed Kickstarter game in a sea of failed Kickstarter games. But the difference is, I remember it. Gorge is a story about food, curses, desperation, and friendship? A trip to the bakery goes awry when young Etoile <laughs> finds herself trapped in a dark version of her hometown, inhabited by shadowy spirits. She must find out why she is here, and more importantly, how to get out. Solve puzzles, escape from enemies, and avoid deadly situations as you make decisions that will determine the outcome of your fate. Discover the secrets of the gorge and make sense of its curse as you make your way home. From what we can see in this trailer, the game was quite advanced in development with a bunch of original assets, sprites, puzzles, illustrations, the story seemed complete too, just by the way it was described. Here it says that the game is about a quarter complete and it should be around 4 hours long, so a lot of work had already gone into it. Some other features include multiple endings, sharp eyes will be rewarded, ok so explore, 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 new game plus, ok hold on. This is getting a little bit ambitious. Like, this was meant to be longer than most RPG horror games. Multiple endings that aren't just one or two past branches at the end. And New Game Plus? 
What are you doing? Seriously? Honestly? Etarl. I don't know how to say that name, sorry. The daughter of the local lumberjack, Etarl spent her childhood exploring the woods of the gorge and subsequently knows them like the back of her own hand. Determined and tough, she isn't the kind of person to back down in the face of danger or give up without a fight. She's quite physically dense for a girl her age and is prone to crashing through floors, <laughs> but she'll always pick herself back up again. <laughs> and Sadie is a mysterious girl that you meet in the domain, in the same situation as yourself. Dainty and mannered, Sadie is a bit dependent and can be a little whiny at times. Despite her high maintenance personality, she fiercely believes in honesty and fairness and isn't afraid to tell anyone off if she thinks they're being unjust. Terrified by the domain, she looks to Etoile for courage and guidance. I am being hit by painful memories. You've burned my wiener! And a rich variety of side characters. Oh my god. Anytime I see people getting too ambitious with their games, I remember what someone said about Stardew Valley, how concerned they published a doable version of the game and then expanded it to fit his vision over the years. I wish more people would edit and publish achievable things. Scrolling through the Kickstarter page, it's all giving this is a passion project and I'll kiss you on the mouth if you give me five bucks. I mean, one of the rewards for backers of 300 bucks and upwards was handmade figurines. And um, the developer was still a student when working on Gorge and was expecting to finish the game within a year with the funding. A talented person has overambitious project. Tale was all the time. She did say that even though it wasn't funded, she would continue to work on Gorge, but like... Oh uh, yeah, I don't think that happened. I will admit that Looking more into it, I wasn't sure about this video since there's not much to say, but I don't know, interesting little project that's gonna be forgotten in time, and we're sitting on my bedroom floor and I'm telling you about it. Well, what is the developer up to now? Cecilia Bishton Dane is a concept artist at Blizzard Entertainment and she has a game up on Steam. Corinne crosses Dead and Breakfast. Apparently it's made on RPG Maker, even though it doesn't have the look, but it looks nice regardless. And... Oh. It was published on August 18th, 2016. So I guess the whole keep working on Gorge thing went awry quicker than I expected, since the Kickstarter was up, like during late 2014, so... Bad Chalk, a Cecilia studio is now called, has another game listed on the website. Hermina Lumen is only human. But judging by Bad Chalk's Twitter and this ask on Tumblr, I don't know if it's ever gonna see the light of day. <laughs> Listen, I get it. Life, responsibilities, bills, blah 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 blah. But I wanted to play Gorge. <laughs> I hope that the project is brought back someday, like, I really hope so. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, blah 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 blah, and I'll make more videos if an anvil doesn't fall on my head. Bye!